Okay, folks, back with some more instant noodles. Um, doing YY again. Uh, this brand, I'm sorry, this flavor is a sour soup flavor. Um, it's very similar to, I'm not gonna pronounce it correctly, but Tam Kai Gai, I believe, uh, which is a, a Thai dish. Just really sour, um, kind of pungent almost. Uh, extremely flavorful. I don't always love it, but I do on a, on a cold day, I really enjoy it. And today I'm doing something really different. I've actually, I'm reheating pho stock. We can talk about that some other time, but uh, I had some left over. I just want to use the stock um, before it goes bad. So I'm re bringing, that, bringing that to a boil. Um, in addition to this particular type of noodles, um, which I feel it's predominantly a, a Thai derivative, um, I'm going to be adding some bamboo shoots, which is one of my favorites. I'm going to put it straight into the pot. Um, bamboo shoots you can pretty much get anywhere. Um, I believe it's okay to get it in a can. Um, it's quite, they, it's, they, it's well preserved in just water in a can. Um, getting it fresh, I'm sure it's great. Um, but again, I don't have access to that right now. Um, and bamboo itself has kind of also got that very similar sour taste as what this noodle package could be like. In addition to that, I'm gonna put in these uh, pre-made meatballs. Um, usually it comes in a frozen pack like this. There's probably two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, like maybe 18 or 15 of them in, in a pack like this frozen. Um, and you open it up, um, be sure to read the pack. They look all the same, but some, some of them are beef and pork, and some of them are beef with tendons. Um, mine is just completely all beef. Uh, it is already ready to, ready to eat. Um, it's kind of like, uh, gosh, I can't think of, not salami, but something like similar to that. Uh, there, it is not all beef. There are some corn starch in here and tapioca starch, it looks like. So, all right. What I like to do before I put this in the, in the pot um, I usually cut them. Um, I just feel like it cooks it a little better, or I'm sorry, it's already cooked, but it just feels like it's got this, um, I cut them into uh, excess. If you cut them too small, they kind of get lost in the dish and you don't know when you're biting into it. Um, I don't know, it's just kind of my thing. So like that. And they're gonna go into the pot. Yes. Sorry, I don't have multiple camera here. I'm just gonna throw it straight into here. And the same with the uh, bamboo shoots already inside. So again, that is pho stock. Um, I'll have to write about it or maybe show you how to make it someday. Not today, not today. All right, I'll put this away. Back to the noodles. Like again, um, out of all the Wawai brands, this noodle definitely has a lot of flavor. Um, in fact, I don't, recommend adding anything else to it. Um, you'll see the pack is pretty cool. So the pack is like this. Uh, you know, sesame oil, salt, of course, MSG, uh, some chicken broth flavor, palm oil, um, lemongrass, it's very, very Thai, chili powder, lots of things packing through here, so just watching the water there. It comes out like this. Oh shoot. Should have cut a little more. And there you have it. Pretty strong. I'm gonna try to get as much of it out as possible here. Lots of flavors. Really intense. Okay. All right. Um, that's already, you know, what is the 40 seconds, 50 seconds that it's been in the water? Maybe a minute tops. Um, I'm gonna show you what the beef balls look like. See how they kind of bloomed up like that? Kind of neat, huh? See? I'm just gonna. Uh, some onions are in there from the beef broth. And 
And again, you know, just put enough uh, stock to cover the, the noodles. That should be enough. And I'm just gonna cover it for a little bit. Talk a little more. Again, um, this particular noodle in the package is really strong. Um, you know, you saw me in the past, I will add fried chili oil, or maybe even um, sriracha. In this particular case, I highly suggest tasting it before you add anything on. Since I've had it before, I just add more heat to it, dry heat, that is using my mom's uh, grounded Thai chilies that have been sauteed. I'll be adding that to it shortly here. I'm just waiting a couple more minutes to have the noodles rehydrate itself. Let's start it here in a second. Well, it's pretty much ready. Again, I prefer my noodles kind of uh, not so soft. Not I don't mushy noodles or no, not good for me. There you have it. Gonna add bean sprouts, of course, cilantro, and then I'll uh, cilantro and green onions. I'll have a few bites of uh, fresh chili peppers, Thai chili peppers later. And just a little bit of peppers. And there you have it. Here's a close up of the, of the meatballs. Thanks for joining us.